I just said, let me let me chime in real quick before I head out. I'm getting ready to head out. But um, Russell Wilson and Sierra. I got a lot of mixed opinions I'm seeing online where others did it. If she wants to dress like that, that's okay. If he's okay. Ladies, ladies, how many of your husbands and boyfriends that just said, all right, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. We've done that. That don't mean that we agree with it. We don't agree with it. Her titties was out. Her ass was out. She was shaking all over the place. And looked good. If I'm standing next to Russell and I'm next to him and she walks by, I'm going to try my hardest not to look. But you best believe I'm going to look at that ass. Plain and simple. And that is how you disrespect your husband. And for any woman to want to go out and know that, all right, my goods or my greatest assets that uh, my husband values is going to be out in the opening and, and, uh, and others are going to look at it and want to, you know, they're going to want to imagine. To put your husband in a situation where you're away from him and he has to think or keep an eye on you from a distance. Like, you're disrespecting your husband. Any woman that does that. Any woman that does that. Like, that's just like saying, ladies, just say like a regular event. You do something just like that, right? Might be a club. You're going to a location where there's a lot of men, right? A lot of men on your boyfriend or your husband's level, right? They're millionaires. They're getting money, too. Some of them bad boys. Some of them not. Some of them thugs. Some of them not. But he walks away. You start talking because you're a social or sociable person. You like to socialize. You start discussing things. You start laughing. He might, the other guys might get a couple drinks in them. And guess what? Because of how you're dressed and how you're advertised in a sense, still advertisement, how you're dressed, he might overstep his boundaries. Now you got your husband that got to get into probably some scuffle, some argument some back and forth bs and it all could have been avoided if had you wore a little bit something more classier or had you remember that you're not single but you're married and that's kind of how i feel like she lives her lifestyle right now it's like yeah i'm married but i still have single ways savannah didn't cardi b didn't listen i understand other women might do it but there was a time right there was a time when we valued our self-preservation. Um, what they did, that don't mean I got to do it. If everybody jumped off a wall, uh, jumped off a building, you going to jump? No. We valued marriage. We value, we had sacredness in marriage. And it's just crazy because you really got people out here defending that. Defending that. It, that's disrespectful. I'm sorry. And you can see Russ was a little upset about it. You know, women talk about, well, he must have approved it. How you know he approved it? Like I said, us guys, we'll say yes to something real quick. If you're going to keep complaining about it, keep going on about it and making us feel bad. Oh, well, I'm still an entertainer and I don't want to be. No, look, I can. you can clearly see. You know what I mean? You can clearly see by his picture. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I fell for Russ on that one. I don't want to. I don't want to keep maintaining the thought that she's for the streets, because I don't believe she is for the streets. I think she's influenced by the streets. I think she desires attention, street attention, and I think it's going to get her in trouble sooner or later. It's going to get her in trouble. That guy is a good guy. I don't care. Like people want to call him a simp. They'll call him a square. Hey, we all have simped. We all have been squares at one time. Till we met that one woman that we put our all in on. She kept shitting on us. She kept doping on us with some heat that put us into a spell of depression, um, <laughs> 
trauma in the mind and everything. And it, it eventually is going to hit him where he's going to put his foot down. And then that's when you're going to see possibly her feeling a type of way. And, of course, venting online or something like that. And, you know, like the Tia Maori thing and all the other women that do the same thing. You have something good in the moment that you don't take accountability and you get put in place with truth. We become the villains. We become the bad guys. And ladies, I don't like, and I love for the ladies, right? Let me touch on that. Ladies that have been speaking out, we men appreciate you. Ladies that have said, um, yeah, I wouldn't do it. We appreciate you. And you have the logical mindset of understanding that many women don't have. If you have 50 men telling you something, ladies, pay attention. If you have 50 men telling you one particular thing or how they feel about a situation and it's all kind of similar, right? You might have two, three dummies <laughs> that go against it. But out of 50, you got all of them that say the same thing. And then here you are saying, well, I don't think and I don't feel or I just feel that goes to show you that you are not connected to your logical reasoning, logical thinking, right? Because this is how you learn about men. If you come to barber shops, you will learn a lot of things about men. If you just sit in there, you can learn secrets about what men like and what men don't like, what men care about. And what men don't care about. It'd be a lot of you that would not have went to got uh, went to Miami or overseas to get a BBL if you really knew what men really really like. You would have saved some money if you knew what certain men really really like. If you listen to some men, some of you ladies need to listen to some of the men in your families, whether they do right or wrong. Listen to the men in your families because they'll give you insight on what men like, what good men to look for, what uh, flags to look uh, look up, uh, look for when you're dating, what red flags to look for, and more. Pay attention to logical reasoning. 